Hello, welcome to my first stream. I've never done this before. This is all new to me. This is very fancy to me. I Hello, think. Oh. welcome to well, my first stream. Okay, hold I've on. I've never done this oh, before. I understand the problem. This is all new to me. There we go. Sorry. That was weird but yeah um anyway i can take this down and um i'm gonna be attempting to try minecraft education edition um here's the thing it's not giving me, it's giving me a very hard time. Um, so I'm trying to log in and we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm not going to share the screen because <laughs> it's my account. I still have to like sign in and stuff. So that's what's going on at the moment. But, um... I'm trying to see if I can just be a guest or something. If you don't have an account, yeah. Try a demo. Yeah. Play. Okay. Starting a demo experience. Now I can share my screen. Okay. So. Here we go. Okay. I'm trying to figure out, I think this is good, yeah, this setup on the screen looks decent enough for me to go with. Okay, so this is the education edition, meaning um, it's going to be giving me lessons, I guess. Um... So, start lesson. Oh, so I get to learn about Minecraft. Oh, learn how they build stuff. Okay, good trouble. I know there's, I watch a person who is married to an actor on there. That's all I know about the show. And all I know is it's on Hulu and I watch someone who's married to an actor on there. Hour of Code 2021. Well, that was last year. I like this guy right here. But he seems to be in all of them. Is that? I don't know. Um, I'm going to start with... Um, which one? I don't know. I'm not doing this one. But, uh, no. No, thank you. <laughs> um, we'll start with this one and we'll go down the line. Okay, so apparently it's a story here. I'm not reading that. I'm just going to go in. Create world. Okay. I guess it's like a pack thing. I don't know. I've never done this before. I've never heard of this. I, was just, I just looked up how to play Minecraft on my computer, and this is the only way to do it, apparently. So... They used to give you, like, messages here, but now it rarely does that. And if it does, it's, like, for one second, and you don't have time to read it all. Which is not fun, because I like this. I do little tips, but it's fine. It's fine. This is taking forever. Um, hello, Minecraft. I guess it has quite a bit of things to load. I don't know. But apparently, when I was researching how to play on a Chromebook, um, 
it said that Minecraft made it education edition only because um because it because of school Chromebooks because most schools use Chromebooks and not like MacBooks anymore because they're cheaper. So anyway, I don't know how oh it gives me the controls. Okay. I've I have played on a computer, like on a PC before, but like not really. Right click, okay. See? Okay, welcome to the research center. Here you will learn how we use AI and coding to prevent fire. Your first task is to use coding to open this gate. Press C. I did. Okay. Code builder. Oh, so we're like actually coding. I like this guy. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know who he is. This looks like a mini iron golem. Not that I like him. He has like the villager nose. But I don't know anything about this guy. So. And he's holding a chest and walking. Or I don't. Is he walking or is he like doing a weird dance? I don't know. I have no idea. It looks really weird. And I don't know what to think about it. And this is also taking forever. Oh, I've done this type of thing before. In actual school. <laughs> Okay. Can I do like open stuff while this is? Yes, I can. Okay, so I can actually see. Fun. Okay. So I can see if people are actually, if I'm talking to people. I was. No, I'm not, which is fine. Okay. Use open gate to enter the fire research center. When you're ready, click the, okay, on start open gate. First impressions, this thing is very slow. That's what I'm getting from this right now at the moment. Very slow. On, on start, open gate. Yeah, I did that. What else do you want from me? Oh, that was really loud. Okay. Helper bot, player agent, engineer. Oh. So that's the engineer, that's the helper bot, and that's the player agent. Okay, talk to the engineer. This is the agent. You can program the agent like you did with the gate. Code the agent to move three steps forward to stop on the mark. Press C. Yeah, we've been through that. Okay, so he needs to stop there. All right, okay. So, on start, walk three steps, I guess. Okay, so he's the play bot. Player, yeah. That's who he is. So I was wrong about the Iron Golem thing. He's not a baby. Iron Golem. I kind of wish he was, but he's not. And that engineer is like a villager, but they're not. They're like not an actual villager. 
I don't know. But they're like built like one. I I'm confused. This is very confusing. Okay, on start a oh, player agent. Agent move forward by three. Play oh. That's annoying. Okay. Play. Oh yeah, we've learned this. Press C or touch the agent. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you. Playing with these controls are way harder than bedrock. There he is again, and I have to right click on him to talk to this guy. Oh, I need to pick up. <laughs> the agent needs to collect data about flammable materials that could pose a fire hazard. Code the agent to move four spaces forward toward the dry brush and then analyze forward to collect the data. Okay. So, you need to go to here, collect this thing, and then go back and go to that. Um. I need to see that item. Code the agent to move forward four spaces toward the dry brush and then analyze forward to collect the data. Okay, so go forward again. Okay. So C. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this. Slowly and surely, I'm getting the hang of this. It's weird, because I've only ever really played on mobile. I've played on PC years and years and years ago. Like, once every couple years, I did. And I had no idea what this game was. I just went on, and I did it. And I just built random things. So... Yeah. Agent analyze. Okay. I don't understand how he's going to analyze or what he's analyzing, but it's okay. So he has to move forward four. Yes. And not in the same thing because it's not on start. Or is it? I'm, I'm just going to go with that. No. This has to... Okay. Analyze forward. Yeah. Okay. That did not work. Um, do I have to click play first? Oh, okay, so I did have to click play. That's what that button does. Press W to climb the ladder. That's also forward, so that's pretty easy. Um, okay, so I have to talk to you. Look over the edge of the building and you'll see the agent training maze. Don't worry, you can't fall off. Choose a path button below. Use the code to move the agent through the maze to reach the dry brush and analyze it. Okay, so I have to look over first. I, where am I looking? Oh, this way. And I can't fall off. Um, I'm going to go with the short path because I'm boring. Or, no, I'll choose the long path. Okay, so I have to talk to you again in order to choose that. Yes, long path. And then... 
Is he already down there? Yes, he is. C. So, he has to go forward a couple steps. And so, one, two steps forward. Then, one, two, three, four, left, two forward, four right, two forward, couple. Yeah, pretty simple to me. Um, yeah, so let's wait for this to load again. This thing is really bad at loading. So. Okay. Gathering data. Okay. On start. Move forward. By two, I think it was. Yes. And then turn. Left. And move forward. Some sort of I think it was four, but okay. So there's one, two, three. This is the third. Four, five. Okay. So move forward. Five. And then turn right. And go forward. One, two. Slowly and surely I'm getting this. So go forward two. Turn right again. And go forward one, two, three, four. Gotta make sure it's in the right order or else it will not work. Turn left, go forward two. So turn left, forward, two, I think we're here, so turn left again, one, two, is it just two? Yeah, it's just two. So I go forward two. We're almost there. I have to keep flipping it so I can see. Turn right. Go forward two. Turn right. Go for one. Whoops. Okay, I guess. That did not count. Go forward one. Turn left. Go forward two. And I think now we have to 
analyze. Yeah, that's right. We have to analyze. So, analyze forward, I'm assuming. Okay, so something went wrong in the coding. So, agent move forward by two. That's over here. One, two. One, two. So, turn left. Yes. Move forward five. One, two, three, four. That's where that went wrong four because one two three four yes so go forward four turn right go forward two. that should end up being right yes okay that was it so Okay, go down the ladder. And do I have to go through? I think I do. I have to go through. Which, I mean, this is what we just coded. I just wasn't expecting to actually go through. Okay, so head of research. Okay. Talk to you. Teaching the agent to predict fire hazards is our best tool for prevention. Come inside and the AI specialist will assist you in training the agent. Okay. Yes and no. Okay, well that's the person I'm looking for. This computer will help teach the agent about plants that are fire hazards. Watch the images on the monitor. If a plant looks yellow and dry, it is a fire hazard. So press yes. If a plant looks green and healthy, it is not. So press the no. Okay. Oops. Okay. So no. Oh, I have to press the button. I'm assuming. Oh, I have to. Yes. Okay. I got the hang of it now. Oh, okay. I can die in this game? Okay. Um, talk to the scientist. I see it. I see the scientist. Why are they all villagers, but they're not? That, I, that's still confusing me. To successfully prevent fires, the agent will need to remove dangerous plants from the area. Now let's put on... Now let's put our training to the test. Code the agent to destroy all the plants that pose a fire hazard. Exit the chat window to start coding. Okay. Um, I think I remember. <laughs> we will soon see.
Okay, eliminate all the hazards. Oh, so now we're actually doing it. Okay, while well, hazards remain. Okay, if it detects dry brush, agent destroys. Yes, like that. If false, then I don't think there's much else to do. I think that might just be it. I think those things might just be there to confuse me. Yay. Okay. Talk to the analyst. I 100% did not say that correctly, but it's okay. Well, using images, the agent can now detect where fires are likely to start. Code the agent to alert the team if a potential fire hazard location is found on the computer monitor. Okay, so now we're launching the rest of these weird villager people. Um, so code C. Okay. So I can't imagine there could be much else after this la after this um alerting coding so but we'll see i still think this guy looks like an iron golem he looks like he is iron and he has the villager nose like the iron golem does so you can't really blame me for thinking that <laughs> Okay, start. Drag the alert team block inside the if hazard found block so the team can be. Okay. If hazard found, alert team. I guess that did not work. Something happened. Okay, so these are the monitor things. Okay, okay, there we go. Find the helicopter. Oh, now they're gonna go destroy it. Oh. Okay.
this is a very open helicopter. <laughs> I can't believe how quickly the agent learned to predict fires. We need to hurry to this location at risk of fire. Let me know when you're ready to go. Fire can strike at any moment. Let's go. Oh. Talk to the fire captain again. It's got, I just got a message from the command center. There's a storm rolling in with a high chance of lightning. We'll need to start clearing this area of dry brush before it gets here. Have the agent clear that line of dry brush to remove a fire risk. Okay. Oh, we're actually here. Um, how do I get out? Let me out. Let me out. Or am I just gonna... I guess I'm just coding. Yeah, I don't really... understand who this is and I bring it up every single time this loading screen comes up but I'm still curious about it every single time I see it I'm still wondering what he's doing save the village okay program your agent to destroy the destroy only the fire hazards so if he detects driver from forward, then agent destroy forward. That should be all it needs. Oh, okay. I also need to tell him to move forward. If false, agent move forward by one. Maybe that's what it takes. No, maybe it just needs to move forward, like without the if false part. I'll try that. Agent, move forward. Hello? Um, hello? Are you going to insert or not? Maybe not? Okay. Let's try this again. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, this should work. Should. Emphasis on should. Try what? He didn't even do anything. Oh, he has to still destroy. He just has to walk forward again, I guess. Because there's mobile. This is hard. I might have to click this. I'm going to click it. Use agent move forward to ensure the agent moves forward after destroying a hazard. Can I have another hint? No. Can 
because I already did that. Agent moves forward by one. Um, if another if, please. If agent dex dry brush forward, then agent destroy forward again. Is that what it needs, or? Still not detecting it. Whoops. <laughs> Just hit the glass. So, that's not what it wants. So, if, so while false, while false, move forward by one. And then it'll detect it again. So if false, There's this guy over here, and he's labeled helper bot. If you ever get stuck along your journey, I'll be happy to help. I can either reset the quest for you or skip it. I can only help after you've tried the quest yourself, so be sure to give it a try first. Skip. <laughs> okay. I had to cheat my own, but it's okay, because they supplied me with this person, this helper bot. So, um, I don't really consider that cheating anymore. And that's just me giving up. That's, that's the word. That's the way to put it. Giving up. I gave up. Hey, I tried it a decent amount of times. And considering how long this guy takes to load, uh, I think that's pretty fair to quit after that many times. So. Oh, it gives me the answer, too? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm one of those kids who's just like, I don't understand this. Give me the answer. Don't just do it. <laughs> On start, while hazards remain, do, if agent detects it, destroy it, agent move forward. And it should look something like this. Uh, what's gonna happen to player agent? <laughs> oh, now it has to stop it. Or is it just gonna catch fire? What do you mean? What do you mean I successfully did it? No, we did not. It just caught on fire. Look at all this. Look at all of this all over here. It's all burnt. That's what this is. This is burnt. Burnt, um, dirt stuff. Whatever this is. Yeah, it's dirt. It's burnt dirt. Grass stuff on top of dirt. Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> it's grass. It, yeah. Great job. You and your agent were able to clear the fire hazards before the storm came in and save the village. While you are here, why don't you help restore the area by planting flowers and spawning animals? Take a picture. Okay. See? Hello.
popular. Again with the extensive loading. Reforestation process. Am I is that a person sitting on a chair? Looks like it. Okay. Place flower. I get to choose what I want to do. Okay. Place a mushroom. Because mushrooms are great. Are you gonna let me put that inside of it? Or no? No? Place. Oh, I could have zoomed out. Oh, that would have made things a little bit easier. Okay. Um. Let's start. It's not. Okay, on player walk. Repeat four times. Place. Spawn what animal? Cat, puffer fish. Hmm. Okay, a wandering trader is not an animal, thank you. Um, let's do a llama. They live in this bay. Let's try that. See if um, I could do this one. If it will actually show me. <laughs> Hello? Okay, let's see. Do I have to just press that again? Maybe this time it'll work. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, it's me. It's me that's doing that every time. <laughs> this is weird. And now I'm riding along. Um, if I right click on the home. <laughs> okay. Firefighter, this is all your fault. So when you tell me there's too many llamas, um, don't blame me, because this is what you asked me to do. Um, there we go. Um, now I'm just gonna explore this village. And see if you can find this version of the game. Um, I will say this right now, this version's very laggy. Why can I... Why is it like this? So that animals can't get in, or? Yeah, get out of the way, guys. Move. I'm trying to open a door here. Thank you. 
Uh, now there's llamas trying to go in. There are llamas in here now. That's just my life now. Um, I'm gonna code it so that I don't do that anymore. There we go. Now that should work. Now I should, there should be no more llamas. It should just be the mushrooms. Hopefully, because I don't want any more llamas in my life here. Yep, now it's just mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. <laughs> I thought the player, like the player agent was going to do that. Apparently not. Um, oh my gosh, the line of mushrooms right here. Well, this is a pretty nice... <laughs> I took a screenshot. Pretty great. Okay. H. All of that caught on fire, and we call this a success okay h back to sneak oh it's that okay how do i leave <laughs> t t nothing okay um player agent Okay, fire agent, click on you. Okay, so how do I actually, like, leave? Okay. Multiplayer is not available in this lesson. Beautiful. Um, I'm finished. I'm done. You earned a certificate. Get certificate. I want this. Oh. Okay. Let me share this. So that we can see me get the certificate. This will take a second. Now I have to share a completely different thing, completely different window. Okay. Put my um I would print it, but I don't have a printer here. So I'm gonna click print anyway. And then save image. That sounds good to me. Okay. I downloaded it. Okay. So that was me trying Minecraft, um, what is this called? Education Edition. Um, for the first time ever in my life. I've never heard of this, ever. I had no idea that this was a thing or anything. So, um, yeah. I have not been looking at the chat this entire time. I looked at it once. <laughs> so I have not been looking at anything. This is my first time streaming. I don't know how to do anything yet. <laughs> It'll take time. So.
Uh, and I've been streaming on YouTube as well as Twitch. And it is being weird. It has not shown up at all. So I haven't gotten any messages from it. So to my YouTube watcher, I am sorry. My apologies. Unlock full game. I'm going to try to get the actual educational education edition to work. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. So that was it for this stream. Unless I play a different game, I cannot screen share a cat standing on keyboard. Um, I cannot screen share if I play Minecraft because, like I said, only Education Edition is available on my computer. Um, and I tried to... Well, hmm. I would not be able to do it on YouTube. I can say that. I I would not be able to do it on YouTube. I might be able to do it on Twitch. So, maybe I should try that. Maybe I should try that um, at some point. But, yeah. That, I've been streaming for an hour <laughs> without any breaks. So, I will take a break right now and I will be back in a second okay I'll be right back Okay, I am back. Um, 
and I'm going to end this stream here and try to start streaming again on my mobile device to test um, screen sharing. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, so I will be trying that. But um, if that doesn't end up working, um, I don't know if I'll stream again or not. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for coming today. Um, hope you didn't. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you if that testing works, and if it doesn't. Um, we'll see you next time I stream. Bye.